Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Matthew Antopia, and welcome to my digital narrative, The Psychology of Esports. Today, I'm going to enlighten you on video games, but not just casual, ordinary video games. I'm talking about professional, competitive esports, or more specifically, Call of Duty. Esports, short for electronic sports, is where the primary aspects are facilitated by electronic systems such as computers and consoles. The input of players and teams as well as the output of the esports system are mediated by human computer interfaces. Most commonly, esports take the form of organized multiplayer video game competitions, particularly between professional players. The most common video game genres associated with esports are real-time strategy, fighting, first-person shooter, and multiplayer online battle arena. But it's all for naught if you can't perform under the spotlights of the big stage with thousands, sometimes millions, watching you or handle all the stress involved of being a professional gamer. Not to forget the stigma attached of not having a life or being a, an addict of gaming. I had the chance to briefly interview a childhood friend of mine about that. His name is Uli Silva, but is more popularly known in the Call of Duty community as Aqua. 2015 Call of Duty World Champion runner-up and team captain of Team Elevate. Let's dive into it, shall we? My name is Uli Aqua Silva. I'm a player for Team Elevate. I want to thank you, Aqua, for coming on here today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to do this interview with me. So first off, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I started playing Call of Duty when I was, I'll say, around... 12 years old and I'm pretty sure the first time I actually played Call of Duty was with with you guys uh, it's back Call 4 and I was playing with my brother and then I actually enjoyed playing Call of Duty 4 to the point where the new game came out I got it and I just stuck to that game and from years there I started escaping school I just started gaming a lot and I live in a town called Soul of Death so if I was to miss school they would catch up on me right away and just playing Call of Duty for at least, I'll say, eight years now. So I feel like it finally started up my chance to become a professional gamer, and I earned it in Advanced Warfare. So how long have you been in the competitive Call of Duty scene? I've been in the competitive Call of Duty scene for at least three years. And then the last two games before Advanced Warfare, I quit because I had to finish high school and no one's heard of me. I came back and I made something out of it again because I was finally 18 to compete at Call of Duty World Championships and I ended up placing second. So when would you consider yourself being a professional gamer? When was it that you turned into a pro gamer? I turned to a pro gamer once I got second Call of Duty Championship, literally the main event for the game. So you mentioned that you almost dropped out of high school for Call of Duty. Do you feel like now that professional gaming is just an addiction or is this a true profession? Back in, back in high school it was an addiction. Now, I've grown up from it, matured way too much to the point where it, it's a passion to me now. And it's a, I take it as a real job. So, so now that it's a, you, you consider it a real job in your opinion, what stresses are involved with being a professional gamer? Are, are there any stresses present, in your opinion? There's a lot of stress becoming a professional gamer. You gotta pick what organization you wanna be a part of, and if that organization pays you on time, because you have payments to do, especially being me. So being getting paid late is really hard. What stresses are involved with your teammates and your team? I know that you mentioned the organization. What about your teammates? My teammates uh, don't really get me stressed out. It's more of a family bond. Like We're like brothers, so it makes it easier for all of us. So how about in terms of the community? Does the, is there any stresses involved with the Call of Duty community or the gaming community? The Call of Duty community is kind of strange. They're really rude. Uh, you just got to ignore all of that and just play your own game. So with that being said, and you mentioned it being rude, um, how, do, how do you handle the, your emotions in terms of reading negative comments and rude comments from the community? Does that affect your gameplay at all? 
I don't think negative comments affect my gameplay. I think I see it more as motivation. The more I, I get hate, the better I play, because I want to prove those haters wrong. So how about in terms of relationships? I know that you mentioned your teammates are like brothers. I know that you have a girlfriend as well. Does Do those relationships affect you in-game as well? I make sure relationships don't cross my mind while gaming it. Gaming and, and having a personal life is two different things because gaming is just a video game. But at the same time, it's my job, so I just make sure everything doesn't cross together. And how do you go about handling frustration in the game, like especially when you guys are behind or losing? How do you go about handling that? That goes to a lot of teams. Being behind the score, almost losing, is, is the, main, the main thing for a lot of teams is don't lose composure. And by that is, if, if there's only a minute left in the game, anything's possible. You can do it if you're still composed. You just got to ignore the time and just play your game. If you lose, you lose. Losing is learning. What goes through your mind as you're playing? While I play, I feel like I'm just on my own mind. I don't... I just feel like I'm so focused into the game where I don't know what's happening. So whatever just goes on, it just goes on and we just vibe through the whole winning situations. So Akla, what plans do you have after you retire as a professional gamer? My plans is to become a full-time streamer once I get the big fan base I want and go back to school and from there I'll figure out what else I want to do with life. But I'm just living life right now. Alright Akko, I want to thank you for taking the time with me and uh, conducting this interview. Best of luck to you in the future and good luck at your MLG tournament in June. Thank you. Esports has picked up tremendously in the last couple of years, picking up mainstream media coverages by the likes of Yahoo and ESPN and also gaining its own show on TNT. In this day and age, professional gaming is in fact its own career and along with it comes its own set of stresses. I'd like to thank you for watching my capstone today and with that I'll leave you with a small montage of Aqua's gameplay. I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Let's go, Aqua. Aqua's a god!